guys. Hello guys. And welcome back to CTN channel. Today is something a little bit different. This is an awareness video and it does involve children. We are going to be raising awareness on child deaths and things we can put into place to minimise those deaths. We're going to go on to speak about why we're doing this video tonight. Please, if you don't want to hear anything like this, come off the video the now and we will see you in the next video. The next video will be up within another couple of days time. If you continue to watch, then I hope you can appreciate this video and I hope this helps you in some way. Right, so last night, which obviously when we upload this video, it will be like two nights ago. Last night I was putting my daughter to bed as usual after a bowl. Just a normal thing, everyday routine. I put her down in a cut. She was all right when I left, but I left the room anyway. Stood outside her room, as I do, just in case I hear her or she cries, because sometimes she'll cry. I stand outside the door, just listening, and for some reason, I just, I don't know, it's hard to explain, I was just there for longer. It was like something was keeping me there for longer. It's like I knew something was gonna happen anyway. Because even me being in pain, because you know, obviously, I don't know whether you just know, did I know? Yeah, yeah, you did tell them you came off your bike. Yeah, anyway, I'll come off my bike. So anyway, I was in pain, and I was just still standing up there. So I waited for a few minutes, like a couple of minutes. I never normally wait that long. I normally only wait like a minute, if that. I just stayed there for a couple of minutes extra for some reason. And then I heard I made this wheezy gasp. And I just heard this noise, and I was like, well, that sounds odd. So I made it twice, like. So I went in, I walked towards her, and what I seen was... Trigger warning by the way guys, so yeah. what you're about to hear really is a trigger warning. Um, so please, if you don't want to hear that, I will put down below a time that you can skip to. But we're going to go now. No, honestly, no. So what I'm about to say, I, I would never generally wish on any parent to see, to see their little one like that, because it was horrible. It was generally horrible, but I'll carry on. So I walked up to her, and what I'd seen was her, her, her face was pure purple, and her eyes were rolling to the back of her head. And her arms and legs were squirming about. She couldn't breathe. She wasn't breathing, basically. So obviously I'd panicked. I got her up. Started patting her back. Started, like, patting her on my shoulder. And then and that, that carried on for, like, I, I don't... I can't exactly say how long it was. But it felt like forever. But it was only... A, I'd say it was only... 20 seconds longest. But she was on my shoulders, so she, she couldn't breathe for them 20 seconds. I was trying. I don't know how long she wasn't breathing before I'd got into the room, which is. That's hard. I managed to get her sick up. She was sick on my shoulder, and as soon as that, she'd, as soon as she was sick, she, the sound of the air just going back through her lungs was. A relief, but I was still really panicky. After that, I just literally ran down the stairs as fast as I could to get to Selene. And after that, it was all so really a blur, to be fair. Everything else just happened so quick. Like, I remember hearing bangs up the stairs, and I was like, what is he doing? Didn't think any of it. 
And then I heard him running down the stairs and I knew there was something wrong. And literally this happened within the click of a finger. It was that fast. I didn't have any time to react. He just burst through the doors. The door, sorry. And the worst words any parent can ever hear, he said she's not breathing. And I think he'd said that she wasn't breathing and everything because he was so panicky, but I think... I'd got her, I'd got it out, but she still wasn't breathing properly. Yeah, and... She wasn't 100%. No, she wasn't 100% at all. Um, so as soon as he said that, I literally, I just told him to give me her. I am first aid trained and things, so my first instinct was just give me her. I looked at her and the way she looked, well, it honestly haunted me forever. It will honestly haunt me forever. Something I'm never ever going to forget. He's never ever going to forget. But I don't know how purple she was upstairs, but she she must have been very, very purple because when he brought her down to me, she was so very purple. She was like a dark blue, dark purple, man. It, was, it wasn't nice. It was, it was something I've never seen before and I never want to see again. Yeah, so I looked at her and I could see she was still purple. Her, she just flopped. It was like she wasn't... It was like, to me, she wasn't breathing. But she was breathing slightly, but you, you could tell she was really struggling. So I started giving her back thrusts. And I managed to get more sick up, but it was blocking her nose and things. So she was panicking and everything. And I told Tommy Lee to go and pass me something to wipe her nose, like literally anything. Um, like it was such a rush that he just grabbed a baby fest because it was the closest thing to us to stop her panicking and I, I wiped her nose um, and I looked at her and I could see that she was still breathing, a, she was breathing a bit better. So I gave her a breath because she was really panicking, really, really panicking. So I gave her a breath I looked at her and I could see she was she was starting to breathe quite quickly. Um, so I gave her another breath just so it could get her breathing back to normal quicker. That's why I gave the second breath. And after I'd done that, her breathing did start to go back to normal. Um, and I just hugged her. I just cuddled her. As soon as I knew that she was all right after that, I just had her close up to my chest and cuddled her. But the thing is, we all go through life thinking that these things aren't going to happen to us. I never thought for a second I would hear those words, she isn't breathing. I never thought for a second that... I, I never thought I'd have to walk into the room and see my daughter lying like that. I never it's thought... Heartbreaking. I never thought that we'd both be trying to save our baby's life. No. I just... No mother or father ever thinks that that's going to be a situation that they're in until they're in that situation. And all I can say is we were very, very lucky. We are so fortunate. But like, we are fortunate because there's so many people who have lost their children due to this. And we're very, very lucky we didn't lose her. Um, I don't uh, know what we would have done if we had. I don't know what we'd be doing this time today. I want to raise awareness for this because a lot of people don't know what they would do in the scenario if their baby was choking. Um, there's a lot of people that have lost their babies who might need that support. They might need somebody to talk to. And there's just some people that maybe don't realise what is on the market at the moment and the products that they can get and things. I mean, it was only tonight. After that happened last night, our main focus was getting something that was gonna let us know if she wasn't breathing at any point or anything. Uh. So I'm gonna show you a video that I made earlier of something we have purchased. And I will link down below in the description where you can get this. I'll show you the video now of what it is, what it does and how it works. Okay guys, so this is what I have got. It's the Snuzza Hero Portable Breathing Monitor. And as you can see, it's right down here. 
This is a leaflet that tells you all about it. It's got another page to it as well. So yeah, quite a lot of information. This is it here. Obviously it's quite small so it won't disturb your little boy or your little girl too much, of course. So we're gonna put this on a flat surface and I'm gonna show you how it works, all right? So you have a few icons. So the icon to the top left with the battery, it's obviously just, it's gonna flash like green if it's got plenty battery. Um, I think it's yellow if it, has like a medium-ish amount of battery and red if it's low on battery. The middle icon right here, sorry the focus is really bad, is for your baby's breathing. So basically it will flash whenever your baby moves and if your baby stops breathing for 15 seconds that will flash red and vibrate. And then if another further five seconds passes, so another, so pretty much 20 seconds all in, this icon on the top right will start flashing red and the alarm will go off. You've got your on button and to turn it off, you have to press both these buttons together. So I'm going to show you how it works now on a flat surface. Right. So this is the vibrating that's going to happen. Now, after five seconds of that, the alarm will go off. And this is... The alarm, as you can see, it is quite loud, guys. The only way to turn the alarm off is to press both these buttons together and that turns it off. That is the only way to get it off. Now, as you can see, we have the clip there that just clips onto your baby's nappy. And yeah, that's our product. I will put a link in my description for where you can buy this. You can buy this at Amazon. Um, I think it was £90, but it's been reduced to £80 odds or something. So it's definitely handy to have for sure. That was the video and that's how it works. It definitely, it's an amazing product and we have actually currently got it on Amelia Rose upstairs. She's upstairs because the alarm is obviously loud enough that we would be able to hear. That is one thing that you can purchase. I am also going to link down a bunch of other things that you can purchase as well. What we also want to talk about, to me, it's just a really high number. And I feel like if more people know how to perform first aid and things, then maybe if this video can raise enough awareness to even just save one baby's life, then that that is amazing to us. Obviously, we hope that more babies will be saved by this video. Hopefully, there's enough knowledge in this video for, for you guys. Um, Even if this video inspires you guys to want to learn yeah. more knowledge about these hazards. You can just never be too careful when you've got kids. Yeah, that's just a little bit of information about um, choking and things you can do. I'm going to link down in the description um, down below links so you can there's a youtube video that you can go and you can watch and it will tell you a lot about these things it'll tell you a lot about child safety and i will link down a website where you can um learn how to do first aid 
so like CPR. Another thing that we want to talk about today is cot deaths and like SIDS pretty much. So many babies have died from SIDS and I will again put links down in the description so you can check them out. But the one thing I want to say to everybody right now, the one thing I can always say and I please urge you to do is keep your child's cot, Mosey's basket, anything that your baby is sleeping in, keep it with nothing in it, empty. Because an empty cot is a safe cot. Another thing I am going to link down in the description, a little bit about cot bumpers because I know so many people still use cot bumpers. Like, I totally understand if people want to use it as decoration but make sure that they come out at the end of the night because that is one of the main causes for cot death. It is so risky and honestly for your cot just to look a little bit nicer it's not worth it guys. I say that in the most supportive way possible. If you have cot bumpers on your baby's cot, around your baby's cot, please, please, before you put your baby down to sleep tonight, please take them out. Like, I really urge you, please take them out because it is so dangerous. An empty cot is a safe cot. And please always remember that. Another thing, what I would urge, I know many years back, it was the case that everybody, everybody was allowed to put, well, not that they were allowed, but it was advised the best way of sleeping was to put your baby on their side. Please do not do that. My mum was literally just telling me today that that's what she used to do with us because that was the thing that was recommended best. Please, knowing obviously what research and things has obviously happened within those years leading up to now, back is best. Back is safest. Please do not put your baby on their side or on their stomach because, again, it is so risky, guys. Another thing to speak about is um, like animals and baby safety. Obviously... We have a cat. One thing I want to say to anybody, the advice I would give to anybody is never ever to leave your baby in a room with a cat unoccupied. Please do not do that. It is so dangerous because a cat will smell the milk off the baby and it can cause suffocation because the cat wants to be near the baby. And the amount of babies that have died from suffocation from this it's just horrible, it's horrible. And obviously it's not the cat's fault because they are just doing what's natural to them. It's natural instinct. Um, they smell milk, yeah. they go, it's food to them, innit? Yeah, Look. they can't help it. They they don't understand what they're doing is putting this little baby at risk. It just doesn't work that way. But please be very, very weary of when you have animals and you have babies. Do not let your baby sleep in a bed with any animal or anything. Again, there will be a link in the description just telling you a little bit more about that because I had to read on a lot, like I had to read up a lot of things today and I just, I can't obviously remember everything off the top of my head. So for me to sit here and tell you the facts one by one is just, it's too difficult. My memory's already bad as it is. Um, so yeah, I'm really sorry if this video isn't the greatest, but we're just trying to raise this awareness and tell you a little bit more about child safety because it is so important. There are little babies, there are pride and joy. And every mother, every father wants to keep their babies safe. I'm gonna put in the description a bunch of links that are relevant to everything that we've spoke about. I'm gonna link some bereavement organizations for anybody who has lost a child. So now I am gonna put on the screen a bunch 
of different products that I looked at on Amazon tonight. Um, I've got a few photos there, so I will show you them now. Please, please, please check out these things because honestly they can they can and hopefully will save your baby's life. There is cheaper things you can get out there. I just listed a few. I just showed you a few things you can get out there. There's numerous things you can get to keep your baby safe. Um, and I would really advise everybody go and get something because it's just so dangerous. It honestly is so dangerous. And the amount of deaths each year from all these different things like child deaths. Another piece of advice that I am gonna give in this video is please, if you ever have a feeling, if you ever have a bad feeling, you ever... You ever have a good feeling, go with yeah, it. Yeah, go, go with it. it. Don't ever worry that if you go in the room, like, oh, if your baby's fine, oh, I'm gonna, like, it might wake her or him up or anything, please do not think that way because you never know. It could be the matter between life and death. Yeah. Or he or she could be fine. But the way that I feel, and I mean this in no disrespectful way, so I hope nobody takes this in a, disrespe in a disrespectful way because genuinely, um, I mean this in a, in a nice way, in a supportive way, but if it were me, I'd rather be spending all night getting my baby settled again. If I had a... I had a feeling that something was wrong and I went into our our daughter Amelia Rosie's room and she was actually fine but I woke her up. I would rather spend that whole night trying to get her back down than not have went in that room. Please always go with your gut instinct. I just thank, thank God that I was still upstairs and I was still listening out for her. Like, Things that. could have been very different for us. And they have been very different for other people and there's many parents out there who have lost their babies and I can't imagine that. anything worse. It honestly breaks my heart because it's the first time I've ever thought that I was going to lose my baby. I've never ever been in that situation I never ever want to be again. But yeah, it's just, it's just been a... I know it's not been the... I must upbeat video, but it's been no. a quite a hard video to make. This isn't exactly a video we planned on making. Yeah, we just want to help get get word out there. There is a mixture of links there. I urge you to go and check them out down below. If anybody, anybody at all needs to speak to me about anything, wants any advice, if anybody has ever lost a child, and need somebody to speak to or anything, please come to us, please. We will always be here for you to speak to. And if any of you have lost a child, I am honestly so, so sorry for your loss. Like, I'm really sorry. <laughs> right, sorry guys, I just had a little bit of a moment there. Um. I'm surprised I haven't had many more, <laughs> to be honest. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you watched till the end, it really does mean a lot to us. And it does. we hope <clears throat> that you've gained some knowledge from this. We hope that... It's opened your eyes up to the dangers that you don't really know, if you don't really think about, but they're... As we say, if this even helps one baby and one family to not go through this grief, then this video was worth it. Honestly, guys, genuinely, if you have watched till the end, thank you so much for the support. It's been incredible. We're up at 282 subscribers now. Let's try and, and get that 300 It's girls. amazing. Let it, yes, let's try and get that 300 yeah. by the time Christmas comes, but hopefully sooner, guys. Let's try, please. We hope you have took something from this video. Yeah. We hope you've not only learned something, but 
give you a bit of an insight on some dangers that you're not you, you don't really think about or you're not really told about if you have taken something from this and you did like this video and you appreciate this video or whatever then please do subscribe to us if you aren't already subscribed please do like comment and please share this video about raise more awareness get this video out there so the more people that see this hopefully the more babies lives can be saved so we'll see you all very soon bye guys see you later. bye Take care.